Well, it's it's just fantastic to find myself in that situation again, to be out in the lead this time. I was only getting to the lead on the very last lap last year. Already on the second lap to be in the lead and you know feel that, you know, confidence that I have my running in place, my body's working and you know, I just had to keep that rhythm and try to look after myself. Because it was very warm out there, I just had to try to look after myself and not doing things stupid, so I ended up with cramping or, you know, hitting that big ball on the last lap. So it's, you know, okay Lisa, you got a very big moment ahead of you, but you have some work left to do. So. What prompted that, I guess, kind of, was it confidence or like, wow, I'm here again? Um, to be honest, I don't remember too much of this race. <laughs> that last lap just killed me, it was so warm out there and I started to lose a bit of, you know, so, three lap, you know, one lap to go or two laps to go or is this a finish and I had really no idea. I had to ask my coach out there how many laps to go and I just tried to get to that finish line without any, any fast girls running through from, from behind. So you had a win last weekend too, right? Yes. How um, much did that kind of carry yeah, over into this? You know, it's just been, it's been an amazing but also very difficult past month for me to come back to Sweden after a silver medal. Sweden got seven medals in the Olympic Games. To come back with one of them was huge. Um, I had a lot of attention, a lot of phone calls, I didn't get a lot of time to train and look after myself. And then I had Stockholm which was a you know, very big race in front of a home crowd. There was 100,000 people coming out for the race. So it was a lot of pressure and you had to kind of do the work and go out and show the people what I'm doing and what my sport is all about. So I got that together, did a great job and then just felt last week I was starting to fall apart a bit and I was a bit tired, my body was having some niggles. I haven't run since Stockholm because my, some of my muscles have been shutting down and I was very insecure going out on the run if I was going to be able to run and I, I had run through the scenario with my coach. If I wasn't able to run, I just hobbled through and tried to finish anyway. So that's where I, I started this race with not you know, being able, not knowing if I, if I could finish or if my body was going to hold on for just another race. So when and was the last time you ran? Uh, Last Sunday. Last Sunday? Yeah. So you haven't run. So I, I ran five minutes yesterday morning just to check that I could run. What was that like? <laughs> it was not great, but it was okay, and I figured out I should probably be, be okay. I didn't know how a 40k hard bike would affect the muscles and if I would lock up in my lower back and, and my glutes. And uh, so just trying to be very smooth up there and protect myself a little bit. How do you feel now? Uh, my, everything is cramping. It's so like, I, could, I tried to stand up and I couldn't because this muscle was cramping, that muscle was cramping, my calves were cramping. Lisa, so, what do you follow this up with? What's the next two weeks look like? Uh, You've had an incredible three weeks. I think the coach is going to give me a few few days to uh, take a, it a bit easy. A few and days? Recover. I'm traveling down to Sedona for another training camp. Then I'm going to the Grand Canyon with a few friends and yes. Just to play? Yes, to, you know. Unwind and celebrate a little bit. Universe. You really haven't had time to celebrate, have you? No, no, it's just been going and going and going. It, as I said before this, this month, this could potentially be the biggest triple of a lifetime. The Olympic Games. Kind of nailed it. A hometown race. Right. A World Series race in Sweden. And then Hy-Vee, the biggest parade race in triathlon. I did 2 one, one so... Unbelievable month. I mean, you can write that down in a book, I think. How many, I think so. how many races have you had since the Olympics? Just two? I did Olympics, I did the World Series race. On the Sunday, I did the, the World Champs for Teams Racing for Sweden, and then this race, so four weeks in, four races in four weeks. What's it mean to be only the second person to defend their title here? You know, to do that with Rasmus, he's a bit of a legend in the sport and, and Danish, and actually speaks Swedish, so <laughs> I'll be in a very good company there. Uh, Knowing that you've caught up with her in the past, uh, did you feel pretty confident knowing as long as I kind of stick within striking distance, I'll be okay? If, considering my running would be working, so my body wouldn't be shutting down and I had problems with the muscles that I was talking about before, I knew my running is good, but I can run very fast. I've been working on my sprints, I can sprint pretty fast too. So I figured as, soon as, as long as I could just stick with Haskins and none of the girls running through from behind, I would be okay. But obviously, you know, to celebrate all the way on the finish shoot is so much better <laughs> and win a few frames with that as well. So I figured it's, you know, run through and, and push it hard all, all the way. How crazy is it that out of everything you caught her in the running part when you went into it today kind of wondering, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to finish running. And, and you know, on, on the bike, on the first lap, my handlebars came loose, my left lever was hanging. 
So I figured I had a big problem here and, and I knew I couldn't just let it be because it would eventually come off. So I tried to tape it together with the tape I had for my gel on the bike. That didn't work. Going out on the second lap, I gelled at the, the wheel stop. I need an Allen key. Does anyone have an Allen key? On the way back, I stopped. You did not. Open, tightened the wheel and I lost, so I, lost I was just about behind the Huskins. All the girls in second pack came through and I had to start the chase all over again with another minute to hustle. Is that what I heard? I heard your wheel making some kind of noise going through the uh, Yeah, that corner was the back here. wheel, which wasn't great either, but the handlebar was a diff different one. So I had I wasted about 45 seconds to a minute on that second Thanks, lap. Senior. Then I had to make that up again. So I knew coming off the bike that I'd done so much more work than the other girls. Uh, right. And that was another concern because it was so warm out there and yeah. you're going to have to look after yourself and just, you know, it's the end, that's the finish line. You know, if you blow up with two laps to go, you're right. not going to get there in time. Just your dad. In uh, 20 years, what do you talk about this month? Oh my god, it's probably the best month of love. I don't think anything ever <laughs> could get any better than this past month in terms of my career and, and, and race results. It's been fantastic. Well, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs>